bunch of the Zenith Defy Skyline Chronograph, and I'm going to ask him some questions. How are you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So you've been working with Zenith for a little bit of time now. Yeah. How did the partnership come about? Well, there was there was mutual interest, um, but I got really locked in when I went over to Switzerland and got to see the factory, meet the people that uh, run the day to day over there, get to know the culture a little bit, get to see uh, you know the area where there's so many different watch companies and a small uh, small little town in Switzerland. So it kind of really locked me in, and I I learned about the history and how basically one man. Uh, hit a bunch of parts, watchmaking parts, to kind of save the iconic uh, right. El Primero. Right? Yeah, El Primero. Yeah. Uh, and thanks to him putting all this stuff behind a wall when his wife thought he was cheating on him, uh, one of the most famous iconic time timepieces got saved, and, and here we are today. And, um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm wearing one of the more original ones. What do you got there? I got on the... You got almost no. what I got. Let me see. Oh, you have... Multiple watch. This is well, a true yeah, watch yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he takes one is, out of yeah. his. Okay, we're close I think, there. I think it's yeah. the same, but mine's on a rubber strap. Yeah. Yeah. But so, I, I love the white face. So when you carry two watches around, yeah. you, know, you know you're kind of gotten the bug a little bit. What was your first watch? Oh, man. Probably like a Timex or a Casio. Okay. Yeah. I feel like everyone kind of starts there. So. I'll tell you what I wanted. I wanted the watch that had the, uh, the calculator on it back in the day. But, uh, and then I, you know, I, I probably had some sort of like large face Nixon or something. Those are big, yeah, like yeah, in the yeah. late 90s, uh, late 90s. Um, but yeah, I, I have most of those still. But, okay. uh, but the one you're wearing is the one that is, is my day to day, okay. usually. And I, do you have any favorites from Zenith's collection? That you um, really like, or really I like the original. Okay. Um, but this is honestly the Chronomaster Sport is my day to day. You know, if I'm wearing uh, all black a lot, I might wear the signature one that we created because uh, I like how the green mixes with the black. But I usually wear some some version of Chronomaster Sport. Like I said, I love the uh, the original. Um, and actually, I really like this one now too. Yeah, that, that, that you're just coming out with. That is uh, very nice. So I'll many, be rocking this one as well. How many Zeniths do you have in rotation right now? I would say I got consistently four probably in the rotation. Okay. Uh, this will make five. So, you know, a lot of it is uh, outfit dependent. Uh, I'm not trying to be as flashy as some of these young kids, but uh, if I'm going out, I'm wearing it. I'm so wearing not going thing. for the gold yet? No, I'm not really a gold guy. Okay. I'd say. Yeah, I like the different color faces. Like I got the black face on the one I got, the white face. The green bezel, the you know now we got a blue face here. My original has a like a sweet gray strand with a three uh, tritone, so I like to mix it up. And I was really excited because I really liked the Chronomaster Aaron Rodgers edition yeah. that you did. How long was that process, and like how did you choose what you chose for that watch? Well, they hopped out a bunch, but it was a long back and forth. Uh, there were many iterations that happened. Uh, the green was something that they really wanted to do, and it made sense for me. Now, in the process of all that being made, I got traded. Yeah. Luckily, from one green, green dominant thing. color to another green dominant color. Uh, but we went through a lot of different back and forths on uh, fonts, uh, you know, number sizes, color schemes, and then different uh, little Easter eggs to put on the watch. What like, what tip of the you know second hand color we were going to use or not use. Wow. Uh, so that was fun. They were amazing to work with. I mean, they would, they would, the hardest part was picking exactly what I wanted because they, they'd send over like eight different iterations and I'd love all of them. They'd be like the tiniest subtle little difference that to them was a major difference, yeah. but to me it was like a nothing. But then the more that we worked through it, there was some pretty cool things we added to it. Was the green decided before the The green trade? was decided but way before the trade. It's interesting because it's probably closer to the Jets than it is to I, the and, and the funny thing is they wanted to agree and I said, let's not do Green Bay Greens. But uh, I just don't think it's the right type of green that people are going to really enjoy enjoy rocking. And sure enough, it's way closer to jet green. I got traded. We did the event last year. It worked out. Yeah. Um, so now I want to ask you just a couple of questions, not about watches. Yeah. So I'm a huge Jeopardy fan. Yeah. I watch every every night, and 
I saw when you hosted for two weeks. You also were on Celebrity Jeopardy. I was, 2015. So are you as big a Jeopardy fan? What was it like being on the show? Everyone tells me that I need to try out. It's, it's uh, very nerve-wracking. Um, for the celebrities, uh, we did a practice game. And uh, Jimmy from the Clues Crew was the host of that practice game. And I felt amazing when out there. I was getting all the questions right, feeling good, and smoked to Mr. Wonderful and, and Scott in the first round. Or sorry, Mark with Scott. Scott's his brother. Mark. Um, and then, uh, and then we came back in the green room, and Alex walked in, and the whole vibe changed. It was like, oh shit, there's Alex, legend. And I got nervous. The other guys got nervous as well. And it was much more difficult to to do it. But the hardest thing, one of the hardest things I've done career-wise in anything was host Jeopardy because the speed at which it's hosted is unbelievably fast. Yeah. And it gave me just an even greater appreciation for Alex and Jappy did for 37 yeah. years. Um, and just how he kind of made it his own every single night and was able to have the right responses and the quick witted things. Uh, because I studied the hell out of it because I wanted to do his, his memory justice for sure. Well, I remember there were a lot and you were actually one of my favorites. Thank you. Uh, thank, you. thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate your time. Yeah, good to see you.